A very good evening and welcome to Clonina Rectory for this service of the late evening office. Our service begins on page 162 of the prayer book. Blessed be our God for all time, now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory be to you, Holy Spirit, Comforter treasure of all goodness and giver of life, come and dwell in us. Cleanse us from all sin and in your love bring us to salvation. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Psalm 134, let us recite together. Come, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the holy place and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our scripture reading and reflection, the scripture reading is taken from Luke chapter 5 beginning at the first verse and our uh, reflection is by Pope Francis. One day Jesus was standing on the shore of Lake Gennesaret while the people pushed their way up to him to listen to the word of God. He saw two boats pulled up on the beach. The fishermen had left them and were washing the nets. Jesus got into one of the boats, it belonged to Simon, and asked him to push off a little from the shore. Jesus sat in the boat and taught the crowd. When he finished speaking, he said to Simon, push the boat out further to the deep water and you and your friends let down your nets for a catch. Master, Simon answered, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing. But if you say so, I will let down the nets. Then he let down the nets and caught such a large number of fish that the nets were about to break. So the fishermen motioned to their friends in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so full of fish that the boats were about to sink. When Simon Peter saw what had happened, he fell on his knees before Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. He and the others with him were all amazed at the large number of fish they had caught. The same was true of Simon's partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee. Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be fishers of men. The Reflection Gratitude is always a powerful weapon. Only if we are able to contemplate and feel genuine gratitude for all those ways we have experienced God's love, generosity, solidarity and trust, as well as his forgiveness, patience, forbearance and compassion, will we allow the Spirit to grant us the freshness that can renew our life and mission. Like Simon Peter on the morning of the miraculous catch of fish, may we let the recognition of all the blessings we have received awaken in us the amazement and gratitude that can enable us to say, depart from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. Only then to hear the Lord repeat his summons. Do not be afraid, from now on you will be fishers of men. God's mercy endures forever. Amen. The Nunc Dimittis let us recite together. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. 
My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray to the Lord with all our heart and with all our soul. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all Christian people. You remember most, especially at this time, our brother and sister Christians across the world who are being persecuted for their beliefs. Lord, touch the hearts of world leaders to work together to grant them justice that all in our world may be free to practice their beliefs. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for all ministers of the church and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for peace throughout the world and for all governments. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for our neighbours and for all our friends. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for those who hate us as we pray for those who love us. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for refugees and prisoners and for all who are exposed to the dangers of travel. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for the abundance of the fruits of the earth and that the poor and hungry may receive a just share. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray for all sick people. We pray for those who are sick at home. We pray for those in our hospitals and nursing homes and those in convalescence. We pray for those who are worried or anxious about their health. We pray for those who are struggling with their mental health. And at this time, we turn our thoughts to India. We pray for the so many thousands of people dying daily there from a lack of oxygen in the fight against the COVID-19 virus. Lord, we pray that governments and institutions will work together to help as many of them and those struggling across our world in the fight against the coronavirus. Lord, have mercy. Let us remember our brothers and sisters who have entered into eternal rest as we remember to those who grieve and mourn at this time. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Almighty God, whose Son restored all to health of mind and body and called them to witness to his resurrection, forgive our sins and heal us by your grace that we may serve you in the power of his risen life, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We bring these and all our prayers to the Father in the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And we give thanks to God for the reopening of our churches. We look forward here in the Clanina group of parishes to returning to public worship on Ascension Day next Thursday and to our regular Sunday services from Sunday the 15th of May. The Common Collect, let us pray together. Lord Almighty, come and scatter the darkness of our hearts by the light of your presence, that we may know you, the light of the world, and the one true God, blessed this night and forevermore, Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the almighty and merciful God, 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night, and God bless you all. Amen.